get free ride points, gift cards, and much more. And make sure to use the code MONK to receive an extra 50 points. Alright, what's up? What's going on guys? Captain Monk here, and today's game we're playing some Sir Cled in the top lane here, and it's good to see that Thresh is reconnected, I was kind of worried about that, but let's get ourselves here some items. Look at the matchup today, we're actually against a Quinn top, which is actually a really brutal matchup, because she is ranged, and Quinn's is really strong right now, so I think our best course of action is either Cloth Armor or Dorn Shield. I'm leaning towards Cloth Armor though, just because I think they've built into some items we could build later on that might be helpful against their team comp, because they're pretty AD focused aside from Ryze and I guess Nami. So I'll go with the Cloth Armor, maybe build Ninja Tabby, maybe build a Chain Vest from that, something like that, right? But I think it'll also be good because one thing that people disregard a lot with Kled that I really want to highlight here is you do have some of the most base HP in the game, level 1, and just in general because you have two health bars as you can see, 340 here, 450 here. But the thing is though is as soon as you use that first 450, which does happen pretty quick because you are pretty short range and you take a lot of damage uh, as Kled just because you're in the fight a lot, once you lose that, you're just Kled, you're not riding your Scarl, your mount anymore, and when that happens, it's pretty tough to combat pretty much anything at all and so you want to avoid that happening as much as possible and these extra health potions will keep that first health bar healthy and hopefully delay us losing our mount as long as possible but look at the game or the game look at the teams here today guys of course yours truly playing that cled top also got acromorph uh back again playing as our Lee Sin jungle welk playing that vigar mid arc dimensions and jirasu playing the dual lane of ezreal and thresh and like i said we're against that quinn top also the aatrox jungle which is kind of an uncommon pick but i guess it's kind of good to see and you need a poke right off the bat, no surprise there. Uh, the Rise mid, and then the dual lane of Draven Nami. So yeah, with Kled here, guys, I'm going to be looking to do my best to just farm, get as many assets as possible, although it is kind of tricky with this champion, and try and avoid getting poked as much as possible. Really just looking to survive the lane phase, because with Kled, from my experience, which I'll admit is limited, i found my most, my best games are really when I'm just focusing on farming and surviving the lane phase because he does scale really well into the later on parts of the game because of how his W works. If it's available and you hit those few hits off and you get that last proc, you just do so much damage. But the problem with him is, is that it takes a while for you to actually get to the point where there's opponents that have a lot of percent HP and a lot of it takes a while also if you get points into your W for it to actually do some damage. So what I've been finding works best for me is just again just farming, get when I can when I can get and just kinda hanging out. And, yeah, we're going to miss a lot of minions here, of course, just because we are clay. don't really have the best wave clear, but we'll get as many as we can and work with what we got. And we actually have Lee Sin come in for a gank here. I'm not sure if this is going to work out in our favor. We can give it a try, though. We hit this, and Lee Sin's coming on the side. I think we might... Oh, we don't have it. All right. I'm taking a lot of damage here, but, like, Lee Sin's with us. I'm just going to try and survive here. It looks like Lee Sin should have this. He will. Nope, I will have it. Nice. That's actually better for us that I got the first blood. I wasn't sure if Lee Sin was trying to hand it off to me or if he was trying to finish it off with the Resonating Strike, but either way, works out very nicely for us. And let's go ahead and push the wave up here as best as we can. God, our attack speed's so slow, and our anim our animation when we're just clad is so weird. And nice last there with the, with the Q. There we go, get these. There we go. Holy tax, man. Yeah, he taxed me a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. I don't know why he's talking about that, though, but look at all those minions Quinn's going to miss. Not to mention, also, she ran Ignite. Nice gank, homie. She ran Ignite, so when she uses that and doesn't have it and she doesn't have teleport, she's just going to miss a ton in the lane, which we're not going to miss. So let's get ourselves some long swords here towards our Tiamat, I will be rushing the Tiamat in today's game. And I'm just kind of seeing if there's anywhere to teleport to that'd be useful. Doesn't look like it, so we'll just teleport back top lane. 12 to her 10. If we have any sort of a lead at all in this lane, it's very, very good for us, but frankly, not necessary. As long as we don't feed and don't lose the lane, we're fine. And that's kind of how I look at it at least, because Kled just will outscale. He will definitely outscale the Quinn here. And go ahead and do some damage to her. And yeah, see so we take a lot more back, and the thing is I want to dash into the fight and really get in there and start hitting her lots, but if I do that, and there's a Siege mini right next to me, I'm going to take some damage from that that I just don't want to be taking. And the wave is pushing towards me, she has a big mini wave, so I'll just chill out, hang out, get some last hits here and there, and do what we can. And uh, one thing I want to mention today's game here, actually, guys, that I haven't mentioned yet, is uh, I'm really sorry I haven't been posting many videos as of recently. Uh, reason for that is just I've been busy. Uh, one of the things I was busy with that you guys actually might be curious about is this past Sunday, February 19th, I went to a Twitch meetup uh, here in Vancouver, where I'm from, and it was it was really cool. I got to meet a bunch of new people I've never met before, uh, fellow streamers and uh, game developers and stuff, and it was really cool because I've never been to an event like that before, and everyone seemed to have a lot of respect for me and what it is I do, which... 
Honestly, I still don't get to this day, because the other day, the way I look at things, and it's maybe not how you guys look at things, but how I look at things is I'm sitting here playing League of Legends and just talking to myself like a moron. That's how I see it. But for some reason, I started this back when I was freaking, like, 16, and people liked it, and so I've just been doing it ever since, because people still seem to like it, and I I don't get it, to be honest, but, I mean, it's working. People seem to still like it, so I just, I roll with it, and I just want this minion. Please, please, Quinn, just leave me alone. I mean you no harm, I just want to farm. I feel like Nasus in this lane, in a, in a way. Once I hit level 6, though, I'll have much easier time forcing an engage on her and really fighting her. But I find until I have a Tiamat as Kled, I just really don't have any power that is really all that worth utilizing. But every once in a while, I'm hitting Quinn with these, uh, what are these, pocket pistols? Yeah, you can see how useless we are as mini Kled. Like, look at our move speed. We have so little move speed, we're so fucking slow. And, like, I want to get these minions, but I'm scared I'm going to get killed if I try to get them. So I'm just, like, letting them die. 26 or 25 though, we still have a lead despite everything, but it could be a lot better. One thing that is good though is we can stack up these pistols, these uh, pocket pistols, so that we can use them more frequently if we just don't use them for a while. And can I please get the siege? Yes! Alright, I'm very very content with this. So yeah, going to that meetup was a lot of fun, I really liked it, and I'm really glad I got to do that. I actually got interviewed by uh, Fake Uniform on stream, which is pretty cool. If you guys are at all curious about that interview, uh, on my Facebook and Twitter pages, I sent a link you guys can check out. Look at the Goon Squad coming up top lane. Oh man, we're gonna get a nice gank going for us. I don't really have much power to utilize here, but, I mean, our team's all here, so... I'm just gonna make sure I don't die. That's all I wanna make sure of. Yeah, there we go. We get the assist, because we were part of it, so that's all I wanted. I just didn't wanna die. Thank you very much. I like how my team is really just supporting me in this game so far. And honestly, that's kind of how I feel like you should treat a Kled player if you have him on your team. Is just really make sure he gets to that early game. He's not like Nasus necessarily, where he scales infinitely throughout the game into a point where he's insane. But he does get to be very strong later on. Because it gets to the point where Kled can just use his ultimate and get onto some target. And just hit him a few times with his violent tendencies. And that target is just long gone. Doesn't matter if they're tanky or squishy. Right? That's just how the, the spell works. So let's get ourselves some more last hits here. Oops, missed that one. Maxing the Q first though, because it is your main damage source early on. And it's good for wave clearing. I mean, you know, out of what options you really have. Kled's wave clear just kind of sucks no matter what you do. And we got our mount back, so might actually be okay here. Anyway, she's in our minion wave. I think we might just go kill her. Like, look at how low she is. If she sticks around, I might just flash pocket pistol her for the death, for the kill, but I don't know that how she would kill her. Oh, come on! Oh, we go down! Oh, she didn't die. That was so close. You know, she, she utilizes the brushes really well there. Not to mention, I also completely, like, just completely forgot that her ultimate doesn't really have a cooldown to it. I'm thinking about, like, Quinn back when she was released, and it was, like, a normal ultimate cooldown, but hers is very, very frequently available. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a Tiamat here and work towards our Titanic Hydra. I really like Titanic Hydra when I play as Kled because I find it's very, very good for wave clearing and just making sure you have that extra active to really farm with and trade with. I find it makes a big difference. And let's make sure we don't miss these. Alright, nice. Yeah, now we have some items. Now we have a little bit more farm than Quinn. She might have herself an extra kill on us, but I don't think it's going to be enough for her to really be a threat to us. I think we'll be okay. The reason I'm not pushing, though, is I think she'll be back to lane soon. And I just want to see if I can kill her but when she comes back to lane, because we have Lee Sin around. And yep, there she is. I missed that minion, unfortunately. Is she going to trade with me before she farms? I wonder. Yeah, that was not a good choice for you, friend. Okay, we definitely win that trade, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, we can do this. All right. Multi in. All right, Lee here with us, but unfortunately... Oh, the Sonic Wave did hit. I think he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. Nice. But I think he goes down. Might be able to get Aatrox, though. Do some damage to him. I'm trying to clear the wave up so we can really dive this guy for real. Okay, I'm just going to flash to avoid that. Oh, but we're getting caught up by Rise. All right, hopefully Vygar can finish off Aatrox. Come on. Oh, he missed the Q. I don't know if that would have killed him anyways. Yeah, Rise showing up there really changed that. Yeah, if Ryze didn't show up, we would have had a much easier time with that one. So we'll get ourselves a Jarm's Fist. I think we'll also get Refilled Potion. It looks like some killstreet and traded bot lane. Okay, two for one. Not bad. Yeah, that could have gone a lot better, though, I think. 
because the problem with that is I engaged and then we found Aatrox, but by that point I was already really committed to the engage, so I wasn't just gonna not engage anymore because I was already at a tower under on top of Quinn. So at least it was a little bit just like uh, preoccupied, right, with the Aatrox. He couldn't really assist us in exactly the way I had hoped originally when uh, it was just uh, Quinn on the horizon. And then Ryze shows up and Vygar showed up as well. And Vygar made a good difference, but unfortunately, Ryze was there when we were under tower hits, and that makes a bigger difference. So yeah, we're just gonna turn top lane here and fight up this rise possibly. Maybe not. Ah, couldn't get that one. Should be able to get the rest of these though. Come on. Yeah. Alright, 61 to Quinn's 52. Our farm is not good this game, not in the slightest, but it's better than hers, and that's the most important thing. As long as you're beating your opponent, you shouldn't worry about it too much. And to add on to that. Uh, considering my most of my Kled games are worse than this, I'm pretty okay with this. Because, yeah, firing this Kled, man, it's really not easy. Especially in a match against a ranged opponent where they can zone you and just really punish you for getting any farm at all. So this is a little bit better for us. Oops, I was hoping to get both of those with that team at active. I was disappointed. Ouch. Missed my bear traps. So I wasn't able to do as much as I wanted to. Okay. Can we fight you? I think we can. How much damage are we starting to do? Oh my god, yeah, take that. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. Once you get a few levels and you get some few points in your abilities and you have that Tiamat, you can really start hurting people. The thing is, though, is she probably has her vault and she probably also has her blind. So I gotta be really careful about those spells. So I don't really want to die for without my ultimate, but I have it soon. So I'm just gonna keep the pressure up and use my ultimate to really make sure I get the engage off because as long as your ultimate is near a target, even if its trajectory isn't gonna line up perfectly, as long as it's close, you should be able to hit it most of the time. And she actually did go back, so instead I will roam. Because I've already pressured this. So I wonder if I can like maybe gank the rise, get that revenge on him or something. Alright, he cancelled the back. I think this is good for us. I wonder if he knows. It seems like he knows. He totally did know. But I think we might have him anyways. Yes, we do. Oh, Quinn's here though. Alright, Aatrox is here too. I think it's time for us to leave. Oh, can we get the Quinn though? Oh, she's so low. I think we're dead anyways. Damn. Alright, maybe I shouldn't have tried to escape and I should have tried to kill Quinn. But there's no way I could have known Aatrox was going to have Flash, right? That's just that's just unlucky. Okay, Titanic Hydra time though. I really liked rushing the Titanic Hydra. A lot of people like to get Black Cleaver a little bit earlier. A lot of people like to just get the Tiamat and then Black Cleaver. I like to get Titanic Hydra as soon as possible because the extra active does so much damage because of it scales with your HP. And Kled just has so much that the item is so potent on him. It's really powerful. So I like to get that right away if I can. And there's actually a Quinn right next to a low health minion and I have Teleport. Hmm. Oh, I missed. Oh, if I didn't miss that, that would have been so different. Look at that damage we do to her though with that cleave. Please come closer. Ah, I just can't quite do it. If I just hit my, my bear trap, man, I would have had her for sure. But I'm just, I'm bad at League of Legends. It's okay though, we're definitely getting stronger. You guys can tell just by watching, like, we're, we may not, may not have the best score. But we are definitely getting stronger in today's game. And we will become very, very dangerous later on. Okay, let's get this ward here. And I'm thinking I also want to get a deep ward somewhere in their jungle. Aatrox is 4-0-2. He's actually in a really good game for an Aatrox. Because like, Aatrox just really isn't that good of a champion, right? But he's he's doing alright so far. And I'm going to try and gank mid here. I think we possibly can because Ryze is pretty far up, being pretty aggressive. So I'm on the way. The stun gate is there. So where are you going to go? Wow. He just destroyed our Vigar. And we can't get him. But we might... Oh, he just took that. Alright, we got the bear trap down. This guy's done. Thank you very much. Yeah, it kind of sucks we lost Vigar there. Ryze just completely blew him up, but... Ooh, Quinn's here. Holy crap, that cleave damage. <laughs> nice. Alright, so that puts us at 4-3-2. We just basically last hit two champions, but... Like, it works. Whatever gets you the gold, man, just, just roll with it. So there we go. Let's go ahead and get this last hit here. Let's see the cleave, man. It really works nicely with Kled's abilities. I like it a lot. And let's see if we can maybe pressure this tower a little bit. Maybe get the most farm in the game. Catch up to Ezreal and Draven. And it looks like he wants to give blue off to Vygar. I was looking over the map thinking he was trying to give it to me or something, but I'm Kled. I don't really benefit from blue buffs, so I was a little bit confused. But yeah, he's going for Vygar. Okay, and Quinn, I think, has just respawned. But we're going to have this tower, or at least some damage on it, while we work on it. 
So I feel like by now I've kind of summarized Kled, uh, for the most part at least. Like, I, I think you guys probably understand how his... Ooh, if I hit that I would have gone so ham. And I don't know if fighting means a good plan for you here, Quinn. I really don't think it is. Bear trap missed? Are you serious? Alright, let's just all... Yeah, we got him. <laughs> the BM Lee Sin recall. <laughs> nice. Alright, and yeah, you guys can see though. Kled, like, he really does scale well. We're destroying this Quinn now. And you know what? She isn't really doing that great herself, so it's not like I'm outscaling her just because I outscale Quinn that hard. This Quinn player is also just kind of behind. That's also a factor here. But still, it's still something to keep in mind. So let's go ahead here and work towards our next item, which will be the Black Cleaver. It's a very good item to have. And we'll also get... Ooh, I can't get boots if I do it like that. Maybe let's get Ninja Tabby. And an extra Longsword. I like the sound of that. Okay. Control is still active, so let's leave that be. I'm gonna make my bottom, because there's a lot of people down here, and I think we might be able to assist what is happening here. So yeah, I mentioned his passive. I will also mention, if you lose your mount, you become untargetable for a second, so a really good strategy with Kled is to just tank everything at, on your mount, and just, like, maybe tower dive even. If you're ahead enough, like, just go ham. Because the minute the tower uh, is getting you low enough, you lose your mount, you become untargetable, the aggro changes, and you have a pretty easy out with your uh, pocket pistol that will allow you to just, you know, outrun the fight by cutting back, kind of like Gravesalt can, right? That's, kinda, that's a really good strategy with Kled. And another thing to keep in mind as well is that uh, when you lose your mount, to get it back, uh, you can get it from last hitting champions and minions, but you also can get it from just fighting things that have significance. So if you're just fighting a minion and you don't get the last hit, nothing's going to happen for you uh, passive-wise, or I think it's Courage, yeah. But what will work is if you just hit champion. Like if you're just Kled, but you have the balls to fight a champion in his face, you're going to get your mount really quickly, right? Same thing if you're fighting an epic monster or if you're fighting a, a tower. But if you're just hitting minions, you're really not going to get your mount back quickly unless you get last hits. So, it's a little a couple things to keep in mind. Yeah, missed some of there though, but that's okay. And almost at the most farm in the game, as you'll just barely beat us. But I think this wave might bring it back for us. So let's just try not to miss any. Makes it's easier to get to farm. I like it a lot. It's so tough to farm this champion early on, but it gets so much easier. Okay, that tower's gone. Maybe we'll just get a deep ward over here and maybe get their Krugs. Yeah, we do a lot of damage to the Krugs. And uh, I'm going to miss that minion no matter what I do. I'll just let it go. Looks like my team is getting a bit of a fight going. Winning it too. That's good. Alright, got all those. I grew up mean, now I'm older than Murner. Some quotes you have there, Kled. Some quotes. And it looks like they might be coming for me. I... I mean, I, I wouldn't doubt it, but I'm not really worried about it, to be honest. Yeah, it's just it's just Quinn. The 2 and 6 Quinn, the one that really can't combat me anymore at all. And how much more do we need for Black Cleaver? We're pretty damn close, actually. I kind of want to stick around for it. Maybe kill Quinn one more time and get that extra gold I'm missing. The problem is, though, is I'm the only one on the map who's really, really far up. Damn it. <laughs> that didn't go as planned. It's okay, though. We're going to get this Quinn, I believe. Because if she goes into her bird form, I can ca I can cancel it. So I can just continue pursuing her. And there we go. Get this. There we go. See how much damage we do, though? With the cleave from our Titanic Hydra plus our W, our Violent Tendencies. We're level 13, so it's maxed out now. You can see it's just really, really powerful. It doesn't matter if they're squishy or if they're tanky because it's percent damage. But, of course, if they are a little bit tanky, you might do a little bit less because they are still a tank in the day. They're not, they're not butter. But if they are squishy, you can really cut through them like butter. It's pretty great. Alright, cleared all that out. And let's see, I wonder if it makes sense for us to gank over here? Looks like Aatrox is on the run, his passive will be procced. The tower here is really low, so maybe just finish that and I will get him behind. I'm gonna try going for Rise. Or maybe Nami. Alright, she's gonna flash here under the tower. I don't think that's the place we need to be. I can't get over the walls, Kled. That's one problem with this ease, you cannot go over walls. But it looks like Lisa might have this. Ooh, not quite. I'm gonna go for the Draven here. Alright. We get this guy as well. Looks like we will. Nice. Yeah. I probably should have tanked Tower there actually instead of laying Lisa into it, but that's okay. Yeah, taking the Tower there would have been really good because then I would have K 
kept them from tanking it. And it would also meant that as soon as I was unable to tank it, and I was like in Kled form instead of Scarra plus Kled, where I'm mounted, I'd go on target bull and be able to lose that aggro. So there we go. Nice start for us. 20 minutes into the game, already got the inhibitor. Not too bad. Aatrox is doing pretty well. He's still 5 and 1, but the rest of their team really isn't doing a hell of a whole lot this game, it looks like. So I'm going to go back here. Ryze doesn't know about it. That's good. Got ourselves Black Cleaver. And I think for our next item here, guys, just because it seems like it would be a lot of fun, uh, well, let's go for Ghost Blade. I think Ghost Blade's a lot of fun on Kled. And as I, I think I mentioned it in this recording, I've done a few Kled games, so I'm not sure exactly what I've said in today's game. Uh, I have an extra 34 Lethality, which is 24 with just my runes. I have an extra 10 now because of this item. But uh, the extra lethality, man, is really good. Because when I, what I find with Kled is if his early game is really, really isn't that good. So, like, you can go with AD runes, which are better than lethality for early game. But with that said, even with AD runes and you have this extra early game strength, you're really just not that strong anyways. So if you get lethality runes instead, your late game just becomes that much more potent than it would be with AD. It looks like Vigo's getting another kill here, but it looks like he might be in trouble from these people. I'm going to try and pop my alts when it's available. And never mind, 35 seconds. That's a while from now. So never mind, I'll just walk on up. Hopefully we can get behind these guys and clean them up, though. Alright, Ryze is probably going to get out. And it looks like... Actually, let's just go for this Aatrox. Oh, I was going to flash onto him and really get him. Alright, we hit the bear trap on Ryze, but unfortunately we did lose it. Yeah, I just... I got kited there. There was really nothing I could have... Actually, I don't know. I could have played that better. I'm not saying I couldn't, but... Oh, man, that was even worse. Alright, never mind. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah, you really gotta hit that bear trap, man. Your kit is so, so reliant on hitting that bear trap. If you don't hit it, a lot of your engage is gone. But here we go. There's some damage. Got him. Pocket pistol? Yeah! Double kill with the pocket pistol. I like it. Yeah, we hit the bear trap, and from there, it's really easy to take out the Draven. And it looks like Leeson's gonna kill Aatrox as well. I wonder if we can get in there and help him, but honestly, I don't know that we can. So maybe just get the minion wave with the tower might be a better way to go. I mean, it seems like he's doing okay. No, never mind, he died. Alright, I'm taking tower shots here, I don't need to tank. If we just hit this tower, though, we'll get our courage back pretty quick, and there we go, got our mount. Alright, what can we find? Looks like Th Jirasu's on that tower. Can we get the rise? I'm going in. Look at the damage we do to him, holy crap! Alright, Quinn, you're up next. Actually, I think we might have to leave. Alright, lose Jirasu. Can we get out? Should we just go this way? I was gonna go over the wall, but I forget that Clay can't go over walls. That's one of the downfalls of your mobility spells, you can't go over the walls. Alright, that's a very dead Draven. Let's go ahead and go for Nami next. See you later. All that damage, and Quinn, you're up next. Come on! Alright, Vygar's gonna get that one too. Holy crap, we're just getting all the kills here to end this game off. Aatrox, do you want a boogie? Do you want a boogie, Aatrox? Do you want to dance with this? Look at that damage! Don't take this from me! No! He flashed just to steal my kill that I worked so hard for. You jerk. Alright, Ryze, you're up. Oh, he got the flash. I'm not gonna save you. I'm not gonna save you. You took my kill. I'm not gonna save you. <laughs> Alright, that's the game here, guys. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, make sure to drop that like button. You got to see how powerful Kled can become at the end of the game. That was only two items, too. And you know what? Yeah, our team did kind of just pummel their team, so they were kind of weak. But even then, they probably would have been equally as squishy as they were. They probably just had more damage of their own. You got to see how quickly we could destroy squishies, and even some people who are a little bit tankier. So, that's the game here, guys. Let's look at the post-game stats. I want to see the damage chart because I feel like we did a quite a lot of damage. So we got an S on Kled, always good. Had the best rating because these two got an S minus each, which, you know, S minuses are always good, but doing the most damage in the game by a small sliver more than Vigar, that's pretty good, right? Like, it's Vigar. How do you compete with damage? With, how do you compete in damage with Vigar? I don't know, but Kled can later on to the game with the build we went with. So yeah, that's the game here, guys. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the Guma's Ghost Blade. We didn't finish it in time. Could have gone back and probably bought it. I don't actually remember how much gold I had, but... So yeah, that's it here, guys. Hopefully you guys liked it. Make sure to leave that like button if you did and subscribe for more. Uh, social media stuff are down below. And so if you guys want to check out that interview I mentioned, Facebook and Twitter, check those ones out because I posted it on there. But you also can check out my Twitch, which I will be streaming soon. I think I want to get into that down the road. Uh, it's always been a goal of mine. I just haven't really been the right place to be doing it, but I think I'm pretty close. And of course, my Instagram page where I post fitness stuff. And that's it here, guys. Have a good one. Peace out. If you enjoyed the video here today and want to make sure you don't miss any new videos coming out, make sure to turn on all notifications for the channel. That way you miss no content. Have a good one, guys.